It's Tuesday, May 23rd. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. A group of Chinese citizens living and working in Florida are suing the state over a new law that bans Chinese nationals from buying certain property. The law applies to agricultural land and properties within 10 miles of military bases, airports, power plants, or spaceports. It also affects citizens of Cuba, Venezuela, Syria, Iran, Russia, and North Korea. But Chinese citizens and those selling property to them face the harshest penalties, felony charges. The suit says the law unfairly equates Chinese people with the actions of their government and argues there is no national security risk from Chinese citizens buying Florida property. The law is set to take effect July 1st. A third way of layoffs is now underway at Disney. Multiple sources say another 2,500 workers are losing their jobs this week as part of a larger plan to cut about 7,000 employees before the start of the summer. It's still not known how many of those jobs are in Florida, but just last week Disney announced it was canceling plans for a billion-dollar office complex in Lake Nona. And Florida wildlife authorities say a man lost his arm after being attacked by an alligator behind a bar. This happened in a pond next to Bandito's Bar in Port Charlotte. Witnesses told FWC they heard the 23-year-old man screaming early Sunday morning and dragged him onto shore. The man was flown to a Fort Myers hospital where his arm was amputated. Officials say a trapper removed the 10-and-a-half-foot alligator from the property. Find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. On July 3rd, 1992, a 28-mile-long rogue wave hit the Volusia County beaches. The crest was nine feet high as it crashed onto Daytona Beach, causing sailboats to crash ashore onto cars. Dozens of people were hurt. And the leading theory behind the rogue wave is that it was caused by an underwater landslide, although others theorized it was the result of a squall line. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.